Thank you for joining me. I sing is a quahoo. Equella can you a drum or lever catch him up? He Jesus. Come to Quasa Robibo. He Jesus. Come to Quasa Rolilanga. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Good evening, sister. God bless you. Hallelujah. Make sure you share and invite. Yeah. Um, I know you say you're going to church. Mm -hmm. May God bless you. So pray for us when you get there. Sister Georgia, Minister Georgia. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Yes, yes, yes. God bless you all for joining me. Wherever you are watching me from, please let me know. Um, tell me the Syrian states or country and where you're watching me from. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. God bless you as you join me tonight. Unto the O Lord, unto the O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Thanks for joining me. Hi. Thank you. God bless you for joining me tonight. Don't forget to join me for midnight service. Next week, keep your notification on. We're going to be praying midnight. Hey, Yaba. I worship you today. Come and manifest yourself. Hey. God bless you for joining me. Thanks for watching. Mr. John. Hey. Nothing hides from you. You see everything. Hey. Even the deepest secrets of men. Hey. Expose every evil. Consume every wickedness. You are the all consuming fire. Hey. Come and manifest yourself. Invite your friends. Ask somebody. Nothing hides from you. You see everything, Lord. Even the deepest secret of men. Expose every evil. Hey. Consume every wickedness. Give us the victory. Hey. From a manifest yourself. Make sure you like this video and make sure you you share. Hey, the young consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. Consuming fire. I want be for your throne. You are the young consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. Consuming fire, I worship you today. Hey, you are the young consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. Consuming fire, I bow before your throne. You are the young consuming fire. Hey, come and manifest yourself. My voice, Lord, see through my eyes. You are the young consuming fire. 
for sharing and thanks for liking the video may god bless you all in the name of jesus mr john thank you sika god bless you hope i called your name right thanks for watching hallelujah <laughs> thanks for joining me guys i'm so glad i'm not going to waste your time i'm just going to be brief today and um, please i'm inviting every one of you to join me next week tuesday for all night prayer yes I'm inviting every one of you to come and join me on that day in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you all for joining me. Hallelujah. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for watching. God bless you, ma'am. Happy to see you. Hallelujah. Invite your friends. Make sure you like this video and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Share and tag. Thank you all for joining me. I want to pray. Please invite your friends. Invite your neighbors, whoever that's around you. Tag somebody. Tell them that Sister Joy is here, okay? It's very important that we come together to fellowship. Very important. So don't come alone. Tag somebody. Uh, tag them and share. Share in your groups. Share in your homepage. 
And I know this world is going to be a blessing to somebody in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, before I start, let me just pray. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, I invite you into our gathering tonight. I ask you come speak through us. Father, we invite you to come and take your place. We invite you to forgive us all our sins in every area of our life. We invite you to come and take away every sickness, every disease. We ask you to come down and listen to us, mighty Jehovah, not because we are righteous, but because of your son, Jesus. Father, I commit every man, every woman that will be coming to join me tonight. I commit every one of us into your hands. I commit our families into your hand. Come and take your place. Come and do what only you can do in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that will not allow us to hear your word tonight, we destroy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, come and take your place tonight. Come and and do just what only you can do. Speak through me, O oh Lord. Speak that every one of us will hear and abide with your word. Let your word come to heal us, deliver us, set us free in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name I pray. Father, bless every hand that is sharing. Bless every hand that is liking the video. Bless every hand that is inviting their friends and relations. May they all be blessed in the name of Jesus. For coming to join me, Father, bless them. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Thank you for joining me. I'm so glad to see every one of you today. I just want to have one little word to share tonight. I posted something on our page, in our family page, and I said to myself, I, said, I was saying, just sitting down, I was meditating. And you know how the devil is so sneaky. I was saying, I, in my heart, I was saying, sometime, we're, I'm just tired. So tired. So tired that sometimes you want to give up. I don't know if any one of you feel that way. As a child of God, sometimes the enemy will so come to uh, attack you. They just want to attack you. They just want to sweep your leg away from the presence of God. Uh, but the Spirit of God begins to speak to me, say joy. The devil cannot take away your joy. The devil cannot take away your peace. He said, the problem that I'm going through is not bigger than what Christ went through. He said, I cannot give up right now because God has given his angels charge over us. That is why we cannot give up. But sometimes the enemy wants us to give up for real. They want you to lose your mind. They, don't, they, don't, they want you to hands up and say, you know, I, I'm tired of praying to this God. I'm, I'm tired of praying because he's not listening to me. I don't know if any one of you feel that way. But sometimes you you'll be so frustrated and you'll be thinking that God not hearing me. All these years I've been praying because why the devil is telling you all that in your heart? Because he wants you to give up. And when the devil comes, uh, uh, when the devil take over and succeed in taking you away from the presence of God, you are in big trouble. But that is his plan anyway. That is his plan and purpose. To make sure you feel that God is not listening to you. To make sure you, f you feel that God has abandoned you. That is the work of the enemy. That is what he does to bring us down, to take us away from the presence of God. He makes you feel so tired. He makes you feel that he make you feel like giving up. I don't know about you, but I feel that way sometimes. The devil enemy wants to make you to feel because he will so come and bombard you with so many problems. He will come and bombard you with so many needs. He will come and lay down things that you have not achieved, things that have not come to pass. That your prayers, no, God is not hearing you. That is the work of the enemy. He does that. He wants you to feel that way. He wants you to feel that God is not listening to you. He wants you to feel tired and helpless. My dear brothers and sisters, I want to tell you that the devil is a liar. No matter what he brings across your way, we are going to fight this battle to win. We're going to fight to the end. Because Jesus carried his cross, he carried that cross to the end. He didn't give up. Because if Jesus had given up, you and I will not be here today. But the enemy comes with so many, so much trouble, push a lot of trouble to you, a lot of things to you to make you give up, to make you hands up, to make you surrender. My sisters and my brothers, the devil is a liar. You cannot surrender. You cannot give up because it's too late to do that. The Spirit of God spoke to, me, spoke to my heart. He said, joy, you cannot give up. No matter what the enemy brings at you, no matter what the enemy throws at you, you cannot give up. Because God has given his angels charge over us to guide us in all our ways. Child of God, that is, that is the biggest gift God can give to us. 
That is the biggest gift God can give to his children. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to tag somebody. And don't forget to like this video. Thank you for joining me, sister. That is a lie of the devil. He will bring so many things to you. He wants to pull you down from the presence of God. He wants to snatch you from the hands of God. But I've come to give you good news. I don't know if you read your Bible. I don't know if you're still reading your Bible. Because sometimes our problem can overwhelm us. If you're married, you know what I'm talking about. If you're single, you know what I'm talking about. He does not uh, identify himself to one particular set of people. The devil is so stupid that he does anything I want to do. Thank you for joining me, my friend. I'm so glad to see you. He does whatever he wants to do. He wants to snatch you away from the hands of God. He wants to take you away from the prayers of God to kill you. My child of God, you cannot allow the devil to bring you out from the presence of God. He, you cannot allow the enemy to snatch you from the hand of God. Thank you for that light. I love you. Thank you so much. Make sure you share. We will not allow our problem to consume us. We will not allow what we are going through to take us away from the presence of God. You will not allow what you are passing through in this present life to allow the devil to come and, and deceive you. Because remember, after Jesus has fasted, 40 days and 40 nights, he came to Jesus to attempt Jesus. And the devil is not afraid of, death, of, of God. He can come to the presence of God because God allowed him to do that. Because when Jesus finished his 40 days and 40 nights, there comes the devil. If you are the son of God, uh, if you bow down and worship me, I will give you the whole world. The devil is a liar, y'all. Jesus never bowed to the wishes of the devil. No, so child of God, you cannot allow the devil to offer you what he has. What he, what he has is all lies. The devil is a liar, so he cannot offer you anything. So we have to stand strong. We have to ask for the grace of God, the mercy of God to guide us, to, to, to see us through in this present life. Child of God, you cannot fight to lose because Jesus never lost any battle. Jesus never lost any battle, so we cannot lose any battle. The devil will come and tell you, uh, if you do this, I'll do this. If you give me this, I'll do The devil is a liar. All he wants is to take us away from the hands of God. That is why sometimes you, you are tired. I'm telling you, sometimes you are so tired. Sometimes you want to give up and say, look, I've been praying for a child. I've been believing God for a child for years. Ah, I want to say congratulations to my friend, uh, um, London and his family for, for their newborn baby. Ah, they have been believing God for a child, but today they have a baby girl. I'm so thanking God for today and giving God all the praise for doing great and mighty things, for the miracle he has performed in their life. God is doing great and mighty things, but sometimes the devil will not allow you to see it. If you're hearing the sound of my voice, I implore you to like this video. I implore you to uh, tag and share. And God will bless you for doing that in the name of Jesus. Thanks for watching, my friend. So, the devil will make you weary. He will make you tired. He will give you every reason not to serve God. He will give you every excuses not to go to church, not to praise God, not to give him thanks. He says, no, now you're believing God for a child. You don't even have a child. You are believing God for a husband. You don't even have a husband. You are married and your marriage is having problems. Uh, what kind of God are you serving? Why not just come to me and I'll give you all the riches of this world. The Bible says, what shall he profit a man when you get the whole world and lose your soul? The devil is a liar, y'all. The devil is a liar. He will want to also give up. He will, he will want to tell you everything that you have not achieved. He want to show you things that your mates have achieved. Ah, child of God, don't give ears to the devil because he's a liar. Hey, God has the final say. God is a promise keeper. Every promise of God over your life will surely come to pass. God is not a man that he will lie. He can never lie. It's not his nature to lie. But the devil is a liar. Oh, I want to tell you tonight that God has the finance over your life. That which you are believing God for is right there for you. At the right time and at the right season, it will surely come to pass. There's, God cannot deny his children what belongs to them. What God wants to hear from you, he wants you to stand and say, uh, he says, stand 
seal and see my salvation. Child of God. He said in Psalm, one, in Psalm 91, verse 11, he said he has given his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. We are, you cannot be scared. You cannot give up. You cannot be weary. You cannot be tired because the plan of God over your life is permanent. The, the plan of God over your life is good. He said, I, I, my, my, my desire for you is to bring you to a expected end. So no matter what you're passing through today, child of God, God will give you an expected end. That is why he has given his angels charge over you. Don't forget to share this video and don't forget to like this video. But God will bless you for doing that. Because you're going to help somebody tonight. Because sometimes I posted it tonight, yesterday, I mean, two days ago. I said sometimes I get so tired. Sometimes I don't want to pray. Because the devil is a liar. He wants you to stop praying. He wants you to give up. He wants you to look at your situation and say there's nothing. I, 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 nothing can happen to this. Remember that when Judge Jesus met um, Peter at the shore, they have finished uh, uh, they, were, they, they, were, they, they, they are just coming out from the sea, from the sea because they toiled all night they didn't catch anything remember that sometimes Peter already gave up I'm done for today I didn't catch anything I have to go home I'm tired now I don't want nobody to tell me anything about fishing today that is how we are we don't want nobody to tell us anymore that it's going to be alright but today I've come to give you that good news it's going to be alright because when you listen to the voice of God, you will succeed in life. Because the devil comes, yeah, 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 talking, talking, talking. He says, why can't you just give up? Why are you still believing God? Why are you still praying for husband? Why are you still praying for children? Why are you still praying for healing? Why? God have abandoned you. Eh? Why not give up? If you can just step, take a little step of faith. I said, no matter what I'm passing through, uh, this praise will not depart from my mouth. No matter what I'm going through, Jesus is still on the throne. No matter what I'm passing through, I will still look up to this God, the author and the finisher of my faith. Ah, I will look up to him because we are my, I will look up to him for where come my help? My help comes from the Lord. Your help comes from the Lord. Hele Bashanda, it doesn't matter what you're passing through. It doesn't matter what you're passing through today. I declare and decree that the plan of God over your life will surely come to pass. I declare and decree that you will never that you will never wave that the devil will not take you away from the hands of the Lord because that is his plan that is his plan and purpose to deceive you there's no way he cannot go he always likes to deceive the children of God child of God the spirit of God spoke to me say joy one second I'm sorry, just got to do more time. He said, God, Joy, don't listen to what the enemy is saying to you. Because at the time you want to give up, God is doing something on, your, on the behind. Behind. At the time you want to give up, God's already planning things for you. We give up so easily. We don't give God a chance. So many will just, just give up. And so people begin to speak to me, say, Joy. I give you my angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. If you belong to Christ, he has given his angels charge over you. Every one of us have our angels. Every, he said the step of the righteous is ordered by him. Why do you think that God ordered this, the, the step of the righteous? Why do you think that God orders our step? Because he knows that the enemy is right there. He knows that what the enemy is saying to you. He knows what the enemy is saying in, in his heart, in your heart. Give up, child of God. Uh, you will never be married. Give up. Just forget about it. Stop praying. You have been praying for too long. Huh? If, if this God you are calling, if he's going to give you a husband, why can't he just give it to you right now? Why are you praying all this long? Eh? It's whispering in your ears, in your heart. But God said you cannot give up. You have to finish this race and win your crown. You have to fight this battle of life uh, because God will help you. So that is why you cannot give up. 
Because God is hearing what the enemy is saying to you. Are you going to, are you going to disappoint God today? Are you going to say to yourself today, Lord, I, I will never disappoint you. I will follow you to the end. I will run this race and finish. And I know I will finish well. Lord, give me the strength. Every day of my life I wake up, I say, God, give me the strength just for today. Give me the strength for today. I'm not asking for tomorrow, just for today. Because what we are going through every day, the enemy wants to come over there and, and push you down. And pull you down. You have gone so far. You can't go back right now. It's too late. We have to finish. When you start a race, you have to finish that race so that we can wear our crown. If you don't finish, how can you wear your crown? Your marriage is having problems. I don't uh, If anybody need a prayer request, please Right, I said they should put it down so that I can pray. All night, yesterday and day if I didn't sleep, I was praying for people. I was just praying for people. It's very important for you to give up, ask for prayer. Ask for people to help you, to lift you up in prayer. It's very important. So I come to we trust in God. I also posted it that many people are coming there for prayer. Yes, bring your prayer request and let us agree together. Today, when I came back from work, I was fasting and I needed them. I, was, I started praying. I said, God, hear my cry concerning these ones. Hear my cry concerning that man and, uh, and that woman. Hear my cry concerning this marriage that is not working. Hear my cry concerning this family. Hear my cry concerning the one that's believing you for a job. Hear my cry concerning the one, the children, the children are not... Uh, uh, that are sick. Hear my cry. I lay down on the floor. I was beginning to roll. I said, God, hear my cry. Consigning the one that, has, that is not married. Consigning the one that is believing you for a job. Financial breakthrough. Consigning the one that is believing you for healing. We are praying for you. And with your faith, with your faith and mine, God will move mountains. With your faith and my faith, God will do what no man can do. I believe that so strong. So I am begging every one of us not to give up. Because you are always at the finish end. Don't give up. You know, because there's always a third party. There's always the fourth man. God is always there. Just that we cannot see with our, our natural eye. But if, you, if God opens your spiritual eyes, you will see there's a fourth man. You will see there's a fourth man. Uh, the king said, did we, not throw the, did we not throw three men in that fire, in that furnace of fire? We threw three men in there. But I'm seeing the fourth man. Your enemy, your enemy will see the fourth man. Those have come to pull you down. Those have come to say your marriage will not come. When they come again, the enemy, the, the spirit of God will raise up a standard against them. Tell somebody to come and join us tonight. Because when we join our faith together and pray like this, uh, we might not be the mega church. But God answers my prayer. God answers our prayer. I say we are two or three. I gather in my name. My presence is there. Every sickness affecting your life. Your children. I pray for financial breakthrough. You that believe in God for marriage. The will of God be done in your life, in every area of your life. Those that are sick. I pray for businesses. Oh Lord. My God, you are a great provider. God, move on your behalf tonight. Heal every sickness. Touch every life. In every area of their life, they are asking, oh Lord, that you move on their behalf. Father, angels of the living God, move on their behalf. Lord, you told me you are not limited by my distance. As many are praying with me tonight, you know their heart desire. Meet them at the very point of their knees in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I pray for my, my friend, Hele Kabashana, that say his, his children, her children, are, his, her daughter is sick. I present your daughter, uh, as I use your daughter as a point of contact to those children that are sick, oh Lord. That you begin to touch them, oh Lord. Lord, Spirit of God, you are not limited by far or by distance. Move on their behalf tonight. Do what only you can do in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is not a man. God is not a man. When the enemy will raise up a standard, when the enemy will come to you like a flood, the Spirit of God will raise up a standard against them. God knows how to fight you. I say, consuming fire. Hele kaba shandaya. Male kaba soko ba sandaya baba baba. Hele eba saya ba se kende kende basa. Hele kaba shandaya baba baba. I pray for you, child of God, tonight. In every area of your life, that you are believing God to move on your behalf. I ask the Spirit of God begin to move. Hele kaba shanda. Lord God begin to move. Le kaba sandaya ba. In every area that you are believing God to move tonight. Male kaba shandaya ba. Hele ba se kende kende yabasa. I pray for every single woman. I pray for every married woman. I pray for every boy, every boy, every man, every girl. Hele kaba shanda. I pray for every family tonight. I commit to every one of us into the hands of the living God because I know that which is given to him he's able to keep, he's able to protect in the mighty name of Jesus. Move on our behalf, ancient of days. Do what only you can do. Hear my cry, oh Lord. I turn unto my cry, oh Lord. I turn unto my voice, oh Lord. From the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to that rock that is higher than I. God is able, y'all. Don't give up. It's too late to give up. God is able, y'all. He's preparing, he's preparing a table for you where all your enemies can see. Yes, God has done it before. He will do it again. When I didn't get married on time, uh, they were laughing at me. They said, oh, she will never get married. Leba Shandaya. Then I was back in Africa. They said, she's too old. She can never get married. They said, nobody can marry her. They ask, they, they, the family has money. And nobody wants to come. Ah, God said, no. I have the final say. Who has? the final say Jehovah has the final say Jehovah turn my life around Jehovah turn my life around he make a way where there is no way hey Jehovah has the final say child of God I declare and declare and I declare and I decree tonight that God has the final say over your life, over your destiny. That God has the final say over your life, over your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every, every hand that is not of God. Fighting your marriage, fighting your destiny. As I'm to read, every incantation over your marriage. Let the angels of the living God begin to fight for you. Those that say your marriage will not work. Let the thunder of the Holy Ghost begin to push them down. I was praying last night. I was saying to the Spirit of God, I said, Spirit of God, let my enemies begin to whip them. Because when you begin to whoop them, they will not know where that whooping comes from. They will look for help, they will never find it. Those that will rise up their tongue, their, their evil hands against our life and against our destiny, let their hands begin to wither. Every incantation over your life, over your destiny, let it go back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, let me tell you, we belong to God. I am glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Hey, I belong to my God. I am glad. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Hey, I belong to my God. Dana, thanks for joining me, my my sister. God bless you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Thank you, Dana, for joining us. May God bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. I want everybody to tag and share somebody. Share this video on your page. It's going to help somebody. You cannot allow yourself to be used by the devil not to share the video. Share it in your page because it's going to bless somebody. If you share my video in your page, it's not going to be, you are not paying me for doing that. It's just for us to share the word of God so that somebody will be encouraged, so that somebody cannot give up. It's very important. I want to see every one of you on this timeline to share this video on your page because it goes far and wide. Share in some groups. Tag somebody. Those that are not married, let them come because people think that they are the only one going through, 
through stuff in life. No. Just a day before he said this, the, uh, the devil was speaking to my heart. So if the devil can come to Jesus, he can come to anybody. And the Spirit of God begin to speak to me, say, Joy, you cannot give up. You cannot. You have to run this race to finish. You have to finish this race. And you're going to finish well. He said, don't listen to the voice of the enemy. So many of us are listening to the voice of the enemy. He said, uh, 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 you, should be, you, should, you should be tired of praying. Why are you praying? Why are you still calling on this God that never answers? Ah, you are not married. You have been praying for too long. You have been sick for 10 years. You are not healed. Why are you calling on this God? He wants us to give up. He said, your marriage is not working. Why not just give up? Why not just get a divorce and go? Eh? That is the plan of the enemy. That is the strategy of the enemy. We cannot give him that chance. We cannot allow the enemy to, to, fight, to fight us and win. We will not allow the enemy to do that. We have to tell the enemy that we have a living God. Because he said he has given his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. We have to put our trust in this God. We cannot give up. It's too late to give up right now. We cannot. We have to trust this God. And we have to win, fight this fight of faith. We have to tell the devil we don't care whether this God answers us or not. Do you know that the devil is saying the fourth man in your marriage? Do you know the devil is saying the fourth man in your single life? Do you know the devil is saying the fourth man in, in, the, in every area of your life? He's saying the fourth man. He's saying Jesus. Jesus is standing there and he knows he cannot touch you. But he's talking and you're listening. Child of God, don't give ears to the lies of the devil. Because he's speaking every day. He wants us to give up. He wants us to give up. But we cannot give up now because it's too late. He said, uh, just give up. You have been praying for too long. Eh? Why are you still praying? You are not married and you are praying. You have been praying for too long. You don't have a child and you're still praying. Why are you praying? Why not just give up and tell him, you know what? I'm not praying to this God because he has not answered me. No. When the devil push you to that length and you say there's no God, I feel sorry for you. He has come. The Bible says the devil has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. That is his job. We cannot allow him to do that to us. We cannot allow him to do that to any one of us because we are the child of the king. Even if you cannot see Jesus with your physical eye, Jesus is right there. The angels of the living God is fighting for you. They are hailing you. They are saying, thank God you did not listen to the voice of the devil. Thank God you did not have bought this miracle that God is about to release to you. Thank God you did not uh, have bought this healing that God is about to you give to you. Thank God you did not dissolve this marriage that God is cheering you up and saying you, he he knows that you belong to him. He knows that you will not fall into the trap of the enemy. That is what the enemy is trying to do, y'all. You have to hold on to this God. You have to hold on to Almighty God because the Spirit of God is right there with you. He said, I will give my angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. That is the word of God and that word is true because when you begin to hear the voice of the enemy, he has nothing good to offer. He said, liar and the father, father of all lies. Child of God, put your trust in God and don't give up. At the end of this journey, you have cause to glorify the, the name of the Lord. And I pray that every one of us, we have cause to glorify the name of the Lord. At the end of this journey, we put our hands up and say, glory be to you, almighty God. At the end of this journey, we have cause to glorify his name. At the end of this journey, we have cause to praise his holy name because he's doing great and mighty things because you cannot see. God is walking behind the scene for every one of us. God is walking behind the scene for you and your family. So don't give up this time. It's too late to give up. He said, I am that I am. I am the first, I am the last, I am the beginning and the end. I care for every one of you. My desire for you is to bring you to a expected end. Child of God, don't give up because God has the final say over your life, over your destiny. As He has spoken over your life, it shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. The devil has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy, but God has come to give you life and to give it to you more abundantly. Child of God, rejoice wherever you are. 
because God has the final say over your life. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget, on, on the 18th, I will be praying a midnight prayer. I pray that every one of you will join me. And I'm going to start 12 midnight. Yes. If you're going to be awake to join me, God will bless you. And I pray that you will join me because at midnight, the, the Bible said, at midnight, the enemy have come to sow ties in our lives. And why men slept. Why men are sleeping, the enemy is working on our behalf. So we are not going to give him the chance. I promise to always come up once in a month to do that midnight. And I pray that every one of you will, you will mark your dates, uh, will, will keep your time, uh, uh, your notification, so that you'll be able to join me on that day. I will be there on the 18th. So join me and come, come with me with your fasting and praying. If you can pray, if you can fast, you do so. Join me because midnight prayer is something we have to be, uh, you have to fast. You don't just have to come like that because uh, uh, the enemy is not happy when we do midnight. He knows that we have come to destroy what they are planning. So join me. I'll be very happy to see every one of you on this timeline so that we can do the work of God and God will bless us in due time. So don't give up. Don't get tired because God is working on your behalf. At the due time, it will surely come to pass. If you are able to stand, if you're able to stand, that plan of God will come to pass over your life. If you are able to persevere, God's plan will come to pass in your life. You cannot give up. You cannot say, I am tired. Uh, it's no, 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 no. We can't do that. Because that is what the enemy wants to see. He wants to see you tired. He wants to see you give up. But because God has given his angels charge over us, we cannot give up. Because the, the grace to, to, to finish, God has given to us. The grace to finish to the end, God has given to us. So begin to ask God for grace every day of your life. Because that grace is sufficient for every one of us. Thank you for joining me. And may God bless every one of you. Don't forget to share. Be, bless somebody with this video and God will bless you as you do so in the mighty name of Jesus. So let us pray. Father Lord, I thank you for this gathering tonight. Let your will be done. Let all that you have spoken come to pass in every areas of our life. I commit every one of us into your hands. Father, we will not fall. We cannot give up. Let the angels of the living God that you are giving to us to guide us in all our ways continue to assist us, continue to guide us in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against every arrow of the wicked, every plans of the enemy concerning our life, concerning our destiny. Hele kaba shanda. We say fire of the Holy Ghost. Male kaba shanda ya. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Consume every one of them in the name of Jesus. Do what only you can do because you are the Alpha. You are the Omega. I give you the praise. I pray for those that are sick, O oh Lord. I ask your healing power. I ask your healing power. I pray for every marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for those that pray for financial breakthrough. I pray for those that are praying for their family. They're asking for healing. They're asking for deliverance. My God, you are able. You are able to do more than we can ever hope or think. Move on our behalf, O oh Lord. For those that I have not bring up your case, uh, God knows your heart desire. I pray that tonight God will meet you at the very point of your needs in the, very, in the name of Jesus. Put your trust in God. Don't give up. For God never fails. His promise are yea and amen. Hear everything that God has promised will surely come to pass. Even the devil cannot stop it. Stay blessed, every one of you. I see you on the 18th. In the name of Jesus. Don't forget to join me. Thank you, sister, for joining me. God bless you. Make sure you share. It's very important. And uh, because you are joining us just right now, go back and uh, watch the replay. It will bless your life and it will bless your destiny. Um, you have to share. So that these messages I share on video, I'm telling you, it's not, a, it's not a joke. I don't play with it. I pray and I fast. And I ask God to move on our behalf. In every area of our lives. Just like the way you are going through things in life, I'm going through things in my life too. But I will not give up. No matter how the devil push and push, I will never give up. I told God I would never disappoint him. 
And I know that God will keep that promise for me in the name of Jesus. Uh, I don't have any power of my own. I don't do no abracatabra. All I know is prayer. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. We have to learn how to pray because that is the only thing that will bring you into the presence of God. That is the key that can unlock everything that you're believing God for. Uh, you cannot stay without prayer. So when we gather like this, God moves on our behalf. I pray that God Almighty will hear your cry tonight. I pray that God Almighty will, will hear your cry and put your enemies to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. In our marriage, God will put our enemies to shame. In your single life, God will put the enemies to shame. Those that are saying she's not married, she has been praying, uh, she's still there, she's not, God will put them to shame. Ah, with our eyes, shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked? God will reward them accordingly. Those that are believing God for healing, that God will put your enemies to shame, that God's healing hands will still touch you. That God we touch your financial your, your your finance in the name of Jesus that God will touch your business that God will move on the behalf of your family that this pandemic that this COVID-19 will never touch every member of your family in the name of Jesus I plead the blood that this spirit of death will pass over in the mighty name of Jesus the spirit of death will pass over when they see the blood they will pass over that this uh, COVID-19 will see the blood on the door of your of, on the doors of your house and they will pass over in the name of Jesus, that this pandemic will never touch us and our household in the mighty name of Jesus. With, with our eyes shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked. Thank you, Father, for all that you have done for us. We are so grateful. Thank you all. I'm so grateful uh, and I'm so glad. Don't forget to join me on the 18th and uh, come with your fasting and come with your prayer. We're going to be praying and fasting. It's going to be midnight. Uh, please come midnight to join me. Put your notification and I will come up and we'll pray together. That day, God will stop the manifestation of the enemy over your life, over your destiny. Ah, we put an end to the works of the enemy over our life, over our destiny. I pray to see you there, every one of you. Don't forget, anytime you come across my video, please share it. It's going to bless somebody. Everybody that have come to know me on this Facebook, maybe somebody have uh, posted my videos and it has been a blessing to everyone. Or even to me, my video has been a blessing to me. Because when I finish, I'll go watch again and listen to what I've said. And I receive. Yes, I don't, I don't, I don't put myself out. No, I go back to listen to this video. All my videos, when you see me replay my video, I am watching it. It has been a blessing to me. I'm telling you. Uh, so we have to always listen to the Spirit of God. You don't say, ah, I, I know Sister Joy, what is she talking about? Don't say that. Because you never know the person that God is using. It's not because I don't call myself a prophetess. That will, uh, I don't have to do all that. When the hand of God is upon you, God knows those that belong to him. God knows those that he has anointed to do what they are doing. I pray that every one of us will not fall into the hands of the enemy. I pray that every one of us will never fall in the hands of the enemy because there are so many things going on this time. But God will see us through. God will direct our paths. God will protect every one of us in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. I see say if you have a prayer request, uh, drop it down there and we'll be praying for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you all for coming to join me. May God bless you and bless your families in the mighty name of Jesus. See you on Tuesday. God bless you.